continue with 40 to 1 perverted compound here. Recall that we did A, where we had uh, an 8 to 1. So we did 40 to 1, we broke it into two compound years, where we did an 8 to 1 and a 5 to 1. Okay. And we eventually ended up having N2, the solution to this was N2 equal 18T and N3 equals 144T. That was my A to 1. And N4 equals 27T and N5 equal to 135T. And note that K equals N2 plus N3, which equals N4 plus N5, which equals um, 162. Therefore, for words. OK? Yeah, Why is it 18 and not 17? Because um, 17 was the minimum. But when we tried 17, we had to bump it up to 18 in order for that. We're, we're trying to get that constraint where N2 plus N3 equals N4 plus N5. And in order to do that, we bumped it up. All right. So that was A. And we started to do B. Now, what we do first is we look at the least common factors. So we took 40. And we did 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. And then we came up with that 8 to 1 and that 5 to 1. The next one, what we do, is we do the square root. So on this one here, we're going to look at the square root of 40. That equals 6.32. We round down to 6. So we're going to look at a 6 to 1 and a 6.6 .6 to 1 to start with. All right. Now whenever I have something that is a third or two thirds, I know that I can possibly get rid of them by multiplying by 3 or 6 to get a whole number. And so those values, when I get a fraction that's uh, 6.33333 or 6.66666. I don't really concern myself too much about it or worry too much about it because of the ability to multiply by 3 or 6 in order to make that a whole number. Because all of these have to be whole numbers or integers uh, at, at, the, uh, at the end. So what I did was I said with a 6 to 1, our N2 min. I could use 16t. Going back to that table, okay? But now on this one, with a 6 to 1, 6.6 .6 to 1, I have to jump to the next value up. So n4 min equals 17. And that's where I left off last time. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue with this. Any questions before I continue with this? So what I do here is I set N2 over N3 <coughs> equal to 1 over 6, which means that N3 equals 6N2, which means that N2 plus 6N2 equals 7N2, which equals my k value. Okay? 
this is where I'm doing the, the N2 plus N3 part right there. And then, likewise, my n4 over n5 equals 1 over 6.6, which means that n5 equals 6.6 n4, which means that n4 plus 6.6 n4 equals 7.6 and four equals k. Now we have to carry around, you know, don't ground that thing off because that can cause some issues later because we want to end up with an integer value for it. All right. So if I look at the least common multiple, the first thing that I do with these things is I'll take this value, multiply it times this value. So 7 times, I know that this will work. It may create a k that's too big or too small, but I know it will work. And again, to get rid of that 2 thirds there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply it times 3. And when I do that, I get uh, 161. So I'm going to try k equal to 161. So you follow my logic in, in what I'm trying to do there? Okay. Yeah, so I know that this right here, I'm trying to find a whole number here and here, and thus this here has to be a whole number or an integer value. Okay? 